you're right ai based marketing can be very very difficult very technical very overwhelming only if you let it overwhelm you here is a fun fact about what i have done in this session to effectively understand ai based marketing and automation you can go ahead and read hundreds of newsletters hundreds of documents hundreds of ebooks or you could just listen to me to make it very very simple for you in the next few minutes to come all of us use platforms like amazon netflix typically any platform today uses an email automation system and calls it to be an ai company which is true partially but if you understand the functionality of where i'm coming from and if you understand how simple it really is if you understand the fundamentals tools will not overwhelm you anymore if you make a big thing out of the tools that are available the number of tools that are available how every day there are about five odd tools which are getting launched it is going to overwhelm you because you fail to understand the fundamentals of how any system can work and what is the purpose behind all of these tools remember there are only set number of marketing activities to be done when it when you're talking about ai based marketing so the number of tools technically should not overwhelm you because all these tools are at the end of the day doing about 10 15 20 odd jobs right now if you understand the fundamentals of all the activities that needs to be done you kind of have a grip on all the tools that we are talking about so without any delay without boring you further let's get started and i have taken a very very simplistic approach you look at the the representation that i've made and you should te- you should literally understand what i'm talking about so if you look at your screens and i can't see anything all right so if you look at your screens on the top you will see certain labels which are labeled as company as c ai engine as ai systems lead as an l customer as cost and b2b account as a b2b a and and let's get started so on the left hand side or on the y axis you will see elements or the stages of of activities that we are talking about when we talk about marketing automation now if you go to anybody who is either doing it or if you who understands marketing automation or any guru for that matter if you go and ask him how does marketing automation happen they start giving you things like lead scoring lead optimization campaign optimization ai based content creation ai based workflows blah 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 agreed you can complicate this if you want at the end of the day it's your choice and you can complicate it and get into the nitty gritties of each of these things and and you will have a ton of things before you which pile up and kind of confuse you or you can break them down keep it simple understand the fundamentals start rolling with one thing at a time so on the y axis that you see you will see things like data collection and analysis lead management and scoring campaign optimization customer intelligence and segmentation analytics and reporting account based marketing content creation this ladies and gentlemen is your entire first level of ai based automation anything that you can define any activity that you talk about any particular specific task that you're talking about on a given day has to fall under one of these things now if you start looking at how these things function you can apply this to a netflix you can apply this to an amazon you can basically apply this to any company who is working or who is doing anything called as ai based automation so typically this is how the flow goes first collection of data which means data is going to be at the center of any ai based marketing system so data gets collected so if you'll see that the data flows the arrow flows from c to ai and ai is the ai system or ai tools or your zillion tools that we're talking about so data company basically collects data using the ai system and ai system based upon the data and the things that you define scores the leads that based on the engagement anybody who has just visited your website and dropped off maybe a 3 anybody who visits your website goes to a specific section reads the product details maybe a 5 anybody who goes further beyond that and adds it to a cart maybe a 7 so ai systems define these things and there are tools to do that for you right now once your leads are defined high scoring leads with leads with a higher score enter into the personalized nurturing workflows which means you don't want to be sending the same email to a guy who visited your home page and a guy who clicked on the checkout button and added sorry a guy who has added your product to the cart you don't want to be sending the same email right but it doesn't make any sense these are two different people exhibiting two different behaviors so you better send them two different emails right now you will send them personalized emails based upon the stage they are at and how do you know them you know them because there are scores assigned to each of these activities which is data at the end of the day right now based upon that you design targeted emails and these targeted emails go to your customers right so now once you have sent these customers emails 
which are personalized according to the behaviors that they have exhibited they will respond to it in a certain way right some of them may engage some of them may not engage so people who engages with your personalized content you segment those customers based upon their behaviors and you you group them into segments why because you would want to send them ad campaigns or further communication further marketing material based upon their behaviors or their segments you have added to cart segment you have visited website segment you have made a purchase segment so you need to send different ad campaigns different ads different promotions to these guys now once your segments are there you will launch segmented marketing campaigns based upon their behaviors as i said now what started off with data collection has reached a stage where you are able to group these people into different segments and you're sending personalized ad campaigns or ads to these people and you're reaching customers and you're not blindly doing it anymore because you have collected data you have done your analysis you have grouped them into segments you have made personalized ads and now you're sending it to them now this is bound to give you some data so the ai systems based upon the campaigns that you have run collects these insights and once these insights are provided to your analyzing tools analysis tools like google analytics etc you will come up with some insights based upon these insights you identify and target who your high value accounts are and you would want to be spending more time with them right now you will send after identifying them you will send out personalized campaigns whether it is email ad campaigns uh, push notifications anything that you can think of right now once you do those personalized campaigns and customers and and businesses engage with the customer with these personalized campaigns now based upon the content that you have done based upon the data that you have done based upon the analysis that you have done based on the data that you have collected based upon the behaviors you now have you will start creating content with the AI, help of ai tools that could be used at any of these stages so that they can come up with better clients with better subject lines better call to actions better pieces of content better email bodies but better, better call to action and that is ladies and gentlemen how you would turn what seems like a bunch of data without any without any specifications without any i mean bunch of data that seems like raw data you use that and with the help of ai systems you can go ahead and launch your personalized campaigns and this is your entire ecosystem of how marketing automation appears at the base level the further sessions to come we would be literally talking about how each of these stages differ and we'll take probably the example of a netflix to help us understand to help you understand how what happens within those stages so that you get a clear cut idea so as of now anybody asks you what marketing automation is you tell them this thank you so much stay tuned my name is kc until next time